Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest 11. This is episode 66 where we are about to head back into the Royal Library for a second time. Uh, in the last episode we uh, went to Hexwood which was really easy. I don't know what they were all talking about. The scary Hexwood with the scary monster and the scary everything and soldiers being frozen to death. That was super easy. Hexwood wasn't a problem at all. If anything the Royal Library was way worse than Hexwood. Yeah, so our main man is on the right, on the other side here. It's not even our main man, it's a slam. This one is like a puzzle box when you press the glowing switches. Okay, I've already spoken to you, so I don't know, do I need to speak to you again? Or Please tell me they didn't, like, freaking reset the puzzle. And I can just, like, they reset the puzzle, didn't they? Shit. You know what? It's my fault. I deserve it. Let's start over. Let's go. So this is our second time doing this. Technically it should go a lot faster because we've done everything. We should still read every book though, because those other books that were sealed by magic might not be so magic anymore. So we're going to go out in the Hexwood, blah 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 Okay, I've already read this one. Where is the first magical book we encountered that could not be read? Was it in here? There was a magical book we encountered that we could not read. Um, was it on the first floor by any chance? Was behind one of these guys. Here we go. It's probably this one. Is there any book they can make a word? See, is it Canticle Book One of the Fated Thing? It's magic seal, but and he can't read it. Can you read it, Mr. Scholar Boy? What have I done? I made a critical error. And by critical error, I probably didn't make a critical error. And I did exactly the right thing. Okay, so I was hoping that the guy could maybe read these uh, things, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So instead, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, murder everything in this area, and we're going to make our way to the top of this again, because we've read every book already, and we found Score every chest already. So that should save us quite a amount, uh, quite a good amount of time, it's just with the exploration alone. Because, as I said, we have explored everything, we've fought everything, and we have, of course, uh, read everything. So. Unless something changes, obviously, because we've got this guy with us now, we should be good. So, I'm gonna double check that the others are still sealed off. That one's sealed off, and that one's now sealed off. Was there one on that side? That one's also sealed off, if there was one on this side. It does look like they are four, one on each side, so they are all sealed off, which is really good. And we know we are, we can hit three here. If we go up here, there should be a shade, or a shadow. If there's a shadow up here, we know we're going right way. There's a shadow. It's gonna run away from me. Excuse me. Who gave you the right to run away from me? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I am the king of Dragon Quest. Easy. Okay. Uh, we saw a book, but remember that's a trick book. You know that book isn't actually there. That book is actually here. Do, do. Nope, read this one already. I was hoping maybe it would be that other book that we had not read yet. So we can go down here, I remember, but that's a dead end. Okay, cool. So you actually do have to go across here. The next glowy light we hit will raise the staircase, which I think is this way. So I'm just going to make my way to the end of this puzzle. I'm not going to waste too much time reading all the books. I thought maybe if he was with us, we could read the books and it would actually do something, but that does not look like it is the case at all. So instead what I'm going to do, you know what this reminds me of, for some reason, a lot of Harry Potter. It really reminds me of Harry Potter. Mm. Very Harry Pottery. Mm. Music as well, very Harry Pottery too. Do -do -do. Now this is a guy giving class. <laughs> I still love that so much. Is this the second Canty Wenty Wenty book? Nope, this is the Masters of Magic book. 
Don't need to read that. Let's go this way. This way. This way. Wait, let's read this book first. Yeah, that's the Canty 3 book. Just like I thought it was. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hello. Took the, I think I just took the absolute longest route possible, but... You know, it is what it is. Like of us, like, it's actually so nice that we already did this. Because exploring this and fighting everything and still doing the puzzle while it's story related could be like hard. I guess it would have been exactly the same actually. Maybe like I shouldn't have done it. Maybe it was a big mistake. Okay, so, um, let's hit this thing. We can't even go back this way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, literally have no choice but to go down the stairs. Ooh. Da -da -da -da. I mean, they make it pretty one way, like one direction that you can go, so that's kind of nice. In its own way. Da -da -da -da. Do I need to hit that thing? I think I do actually need to hit this. No, I don't. I don't need to hit this at all. I was very incorrect. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, I went. I took the corner a bit too quick there, so I'll fight a couple of rectors. It's okay. Rectors. Rectors. Get destroyed, Mr. Rector. We win again. Don't be always the JD boy. JD girl. Aha! This should be very useful indeed. It is the great mage's account of how he imprisoned the witch in the grimoire. Let's see now. The magic of the sorceress was passing strong. Even with all my energies, I could neither conquer nor constrain her. And so I did conspire with a great enchanted beast that by its incorporation of a piece of the witch's magic, I might by my small strength subdue her. Thereupon was the witch imprisoned in a book, and laid to rest in the royal library of Sniffelheim. As for the beast, it haunts the nearby Hexwood to this day. I see. So, even the greatest mage of the Age of Heroes needed the help of a magical creature to seal the witch away. A great enchanted beast? Well, you certainly met one of those in the Hexwood. That thing that was supposed to be the witch's pet. Oh? Tell me, what did this creature look like? Hmm. A rounded white body with a golden mane. Two pointed tusks jutting from an enormous jaw. Can you have been so foolish? The monster you defeated was the very same one that kept a part of the witch's power sealed away. <gasps> How am I foolish? I was defending it's myself. Not his fault. Queen Frizabel told us it was on the witch's side. She said it guarded her against intruders. Is this true? But why would her majesty say such a thing? On. I'm sure I've seen that symbol somewhere before. 
Wasn't it on the front of the book the Queen was reading when we first met her? This? Why, this is the Sorcerer's Seal. It is a ward placed on all the forbidden books of the Great Library. Which means that book the Queen was reading was forbidden. Wait, what if it was the book the witch was sealed away in? What if... Oh no! We need to go back to Sniffleheim and talk to the Queen. I've got a feeling there's some funny business afoot. You think? You think, Veronica? Let's see, we need this now? No, it's probably. Nope, 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 nope. Cannot storm it, cannot read this. Okay. The way out has been opened up again. Is this way? Or was it the other way? It's this way. Bam, 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 bam. We can go down there. Come on. Oh, we have to go down here. This was just the reward. I'm pretty sure. I did a very thorough job of exploration last time, so we can just leave here with no worries at all. We still can't read these- oh my god! These magic books. I don't know why. I don't know if we, after we beat the, the queen, maybe we'll be able to. I don't know. I mean, did you guys not- did none of you guys think it was weird that the queen was the only one that didn't get frozen in the entire city full of frozen people? I'm just saying, I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but come on. Every single person in the freaking place was frozen. Except for one person. The one person that wasn't frozen was telling us about a mystical beast, the witch that froze the place, and everything else about the witch. Did no one think to think that that was odd? Everyone just seemed to think, you know what, that, that's normal. Is this scholar still following us? Must I take him back to his inn? Must I take him back to the queen? What's the deal? What's the deal here, game? Let me, let me know what's up. I'm ready for it. I can take it. Bum, 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 bum. Zoom time! Loop. And this is why you have zoom, baby. When you spend way too much time exploring, you need to start missioning. You need to start moving. There's no more time to play slow and enjoy the exploration that I love to do. You need to play fast and loose and go, 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 go. Then, and only then, are you allowed to uh, zoom up. Oh my goodness. To this place is... Rainbow goes bright, one of the orbs must be nearby. We know this. We've had this exact same thing happen to us before. It was actually better to just fast travel to the campsite. Who would have thought? Is this dude still up here? Are you not cold, dude? Ooh, I've never known such cold. This is more than a galopian night. Galop... Galopitan... Galop... Galopitan? Can take. I so wish to see Crystal Kingdom, but now I'm thinking I ought to cut my trip short. You can do it, dude. You can do it. Believe in yourself. It's not that cold. It is definitely more blizzardy here than it was last time, I think. Thank goodness these magic doors are immune to magic. Made this possible. This episode of Dragon Quest XI, sponsored by Magical Doors, make you being immune to magic. about you. I didn't sleep a wink. <laughs> you can drop the act now, your majesty. 
And she was so cute! What a waste! <laughs> she's adorable. Oh, she's Superman. Why she takes her glasses off? <laughs> she turns into Superman. <sighs> what in the. Her Majesty was Crystalinda all along. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking care of that pesky power plunderer for me. Now I'm bursting with energy again, just like old times. And I believe we have some unfinished business. The heroic Sir Hendrik may have escaped my icy embrace, but you won't get away so easily. I, I know the spell to seal her away again, but it won't work while she's at full strength. If you can weaken her, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Crystal Linda draws near. I like this. This is so cool. We're fighting a boss, but like a sexy boss. Whoa. Straight off the bat, right big damage. Just starting off with big damage. Let's go for a little bit of a uh, flame slash. She's an ice queen, of course, so fire damage should work really well against her. What about a little bit of a uh, hot lick? Oh, that's good damage. Um. Um. Serena? Serena is a snowman! Excuse me again, don't make me thunder thrust you, Queen. Yeah. What now? What now, Queenie boy? Queenie girl? The district does damage! She does damage. Look at Jade's HP is so low already. And Jade is on full HP. Hey, so we're broke through for me the ice man. An ice woman? Mm. Nice little mid here on yourself should be fine. I've got so much people that heal. But I'm not worried about it at all. So we've got three healers in this team and one master damage dealer. The Rex is still in there. You think you look better just that? <laughs> Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Soon in her fit problem is attacks and are more likely to miss. Something else, something, 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 something. Okay. I don't give a fuck. Uh, let's go mid heal on Salvando. Is he, can he get healed as a snowman? He's can. You can heal the snowman. Beautiful. Nice. Salvando so breaks free from being a snowman. Let's oomph up Jade. Shabby Jamie, you can just do a nice little normal attack. Uh, Serena, what about a little bit of a... Helm of Ice? I hope this helps. Dude, that's still did quite a bit of damage considering. Item, uh, spells, let's go for a little bit of a middle on Jake. Does a chill breath. The JLPG game is a little bit low now. Oh, but now Serena's gonna get a super more heal. Super more heal. Full HP. We don't give a fudge, dude. Oh, that missed though. Oh, that missed though. No, Savannah, no, he's a snowman. 
Dude, this chick isn't playing games. She's silly ass. She is silly ass. Oh, 150 crit boys. We are crit boys. What about a little harvest moon? She's technically flying. Oh, she is flying. I think we need a little bit of a more heal on yourself, please. Soon. This is why I have Serene in the party, guys. Infinite healing. Infinite healing. How is any boss supposed to get through our healing? 149. 194 damage with one attack. Ooh, nice dodge. I mean, sure, you've got the little blizzard thing going, so it makes sense, but that was still a nice touch. Dude, these people are getting wrecked. You need to do a little bit of a middle on Serena, please. A little bit of a soul bundle here, please. The blizzard calms down. So no longer enjoying the blizzard, this nice. I'm pepped up, baby! Let's go for a little bit of flame slash. Oh, yes. No, you can't turn Jade into a freaking icicle. A snowman, I mean. Jade's my damage dealer. You turn my damage dealer into a freaking uh, icicle. I'm in a bad place. Oh, we are all getting pepped up in here, baby. Uh, shocking twist. Go for it. Oh, I remember this. This is awesome. This is where freaking um, Sylvando goes like freaking Neon Genesis Evangelion turns into an angel and shit. Trade is in trouble. She's pep. Crystal Linda is pep, guys. Crystal Linda is pep. Cure everybody. Let's go for a little bit of a harvest moon action. Oh, so Fanda, you are super strong right now, right? Yeah. Let's go for a little more heal on Jabby Gaming. Oh. oh, I think you're dead, Crystalina. I think you're dead. Not yet, not yet, but soon. Soon you'll be dead. Let's get a little bit of a heal on uh, Sylvander just in case. Oh, he's on max HP with me. <gasps> that missed, though. What a, what a time to miss. Good damage. Good damage. I'm actually going to go for, I think, a flame slash here. She's so close to dead, honestly. She is dead, never mind. Crystal Linda is defeated. It was super easy. Each problem is 8,800 experience and gained 700. Trade levels up. So, Vanda levels up. Veronica levels up. Eric levels up. Veronica always levels up. Veronica levels up way too much, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> now, Snorri, use the ceiling spell. Okay. Here goes. <laughs> Pella, Mella, Fell, and Feller. Fabula Ferocious. No, stop it. Please, anything but that. Helter, skelter, bind and belt her. Anima atrocious, liba, claustra, cabalistic, heck. Hmm, I wonder how this word is pronounced. Snorri! What kind of scholar are you? Pull yourself together! Ah, uh, yes. I remember now. 
Lieber Klaustra Kabbalistik Hex Bialidosus No, please forgive me. I'll do anything. I'll change my ways. I promise. Oh! This is cruel, guys. You guys are horrible people. You can't trap someone in a book. That is just not kosher. It's not right. It's just not right, I tell you. Look, the ice. It's melting. Your Majesty, is it really you? Hmm? Oh yes, I remember now. The witch trapped me in that book and pretended to be me. Oh yeah, sure, I'm not gonna believe you. I don't believe you for one second. Thank goodness. For a moment there, I was worried the ordeal might have muddled your memory. Fear not, Your Majesty, the witch is sealed away once more. Majesty, we've been searching for you everywhere. Please, you must come back to the castle. The Chancellor is beside himself with worry. Mm. Thank you so much for saving my kingdom. I must see to it that you are justly rewarded. You need the blue orb, don't you? I heard you talking about it from inside the book. Come and see me at the castle. I will gladly give it to you. Mm, I don't know. As for the grimoire, Snorri, why not give it to me? Mm, I don't know. Hold on a minute, Your Majesty. I don't think you understand just how dangerous that book is. You should let us take care of it. Oh, um... Yes, of course. Hmm. Yes! Another orb to add to the collection! Come on, let's go to the castle and get our reward! I got all the orbs though, what's going on? I'll let you keep hold of this. Why? Receives the witch's grimoire. I know, but but why? What A, what is the witch's grimoire? B, why do I want the witch's grimoire? C what am I going to do with the witch's grimoire? And D, earned for work collecting 100,000 gold coins. I've got 20,000 gold coins. What the fuck are you talking 100,000 gold coins? A magic term used to steal away a wicked witch. Okay. It does nothing. It's useless. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. By everything that's happened in the game. What I do know is that this is a beautiful, perfect, absolutely 100% right place to end this episode. That's what we're going to do. I will see you on the next episode where we will explore Sneffelheim and Sneffelheim Castle and we will be um, seeing everything is to see about it as well as getting the blue orb from the queen and having all six orbs. That means we have all six orbs if I'm correct, right? Right, game? Oh, one, two, or three. Where the fuck are... Oh, four, five. Sort these orbs out. Yeah. We got five. Red, yellow, green, purple, silver. We only need the blue and then we have all six orbs of the uh, six orbs needed and then we'll be able to obviously I'm assuming um, go to the the the, the, the Yggdrasil tree which is the, that way which is that way it's that way it's 
It's that way. <laughs> it's behind this big building. Anyway, for now, that's going to be it in this episode. Thank you all very, very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It's super duper awesome. It helps a lot. We got to fight the super sexy hot ice queen uh, boss. I mean, what else do you want in life? I mean, that should get me a like on its own. Of course, subscribe if you guys want to see more Dragon Quest in the future of any other JRPG games in, on my channel or that I'm going to be playing in the future because I love it and I'll never stop playing it until the day I die. So for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time with more Dragon Quest XI coming your way soon.